back. Today we're going to learn how to use the seat composite on the seat. What? Let's get started! All right, so I had someone ping me on Discord and say, how do you use a seat composite? And I was like, I don't know, let's find out. So <laughs> here is a seat and I've hooked up some lights and I also put a little uh, instrument panel and a large looking uh, microcontroller that actually does nothing yet. And of course a battery. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna see how to use the seat composite that comes out of here. And let's let's go to the workbench and check that out. All right, so we're in the editor now. Let's go ahead and click world view so we can get a nice outside view. Just makes me feel better when we build in this mode. And let's take a look at the seat. So looking at the seat, you'll see we have a seat data and it's a composite and it says output the axis hotkey and occupied data from the seat hmm the question is how do we use that so let us see let's take a look at the seat itself so here we have all our axes and we have the hotkeys and of course the trim doesn't give us any additional data by clicking on any of these or anything like that so what do we do well we can look here and we'll see that we have all of these little dots and usually we output these to our uh our buttons and our logic but what we're going to do instead of using this we're going to use our composite data and see which channels are which now logic would dictate <laughs> that everything is in order but uh we don't know so let's go ahead and hook up that to that and uh let's see do we need do we need electricity we sure do all right so let's just test this okay i'm gonna go ahead and spawn it and we're gonna come over here and look oh you know what i should show you before i do that i will show you that i did hook this up and put it to channel one channel two channel three and channel four so these are all set one two three and four so when i spawn it that composite going in is going to display on those different channels so we will start by looking at this and clicking a and d and that is channel one now we're going to do ws there's channels two all right and let's do the left right arrows left right arrows and the up down arrows all right so that's one two three and four and if we look at our seat you'll see that's in order one two three and four all right so now we have these one to six now we would assume we would assume <laughs> that these are five six seven eight nine and ten however I think we have one more output here, and that is the occupied? The occupied. So is this 11? I don't know. You know what? We're going to need another light here. Let's get another light. Do, 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 do. All right. All right. Oops. How am I doing this? There we go. All right. There's another light. So let's go ahead and get these all hooked up with no! No! all right so let's go ahead and hook the electricity up to these easy pc and then we're going to go ahead and put it back to there so they're all hooked up you can see it goes battery instrument panel and then lights all right so hmm well we could get a little bit more fancier here right we could go ahead and get a paint indicator block thingamabob paint sign and let's just whoops let's just go ahead and put one of these on each of these here oh look i put them stuck right next to each other okay and let's go ahead and paint these i know i know we're just overdoing this for no reason but we're doing it for fun all right so let's go ahead and do some really ugly letters really quick so we think that this is the first four and this is going to be five. Oh, that's bad. Six, seven, eight. Oh boy. Nine. 
10. Do I have more than I need? I think I have more than I need, right? 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. No, that's right. Ooh, let's fix this 11. There we go. That's some nice artwork. All right. So, is that? That doesn't look like a 5. Let's fix this too. Let's, let's just get this a little bit more 5 -y. Ooh, oh, that's, that's amazing artwork. Okay, so now we have those set up, and so we're going to just pretend like we think that these are the channels that we're going to be outputting. So let's go ahead and... Oh, I think we're going to have to go ahead and jump into this microcontroller, which is empty, and we're going to add some logic. So first we're going to do is pull this over here, and we're going to turn this into a composite input. I'm going to say seat input no big deal there and then we're gonna add seven i think yes seven outputs one two three four five six seven okay and then one let's put that one out let's put it down let's try to organize this 11 all right so there we have it we have all of our different channel outputs going okay so now if we go into the microchip itself the microcontroller we have all of these okay and i'm just going to spread them out in order all right so now they're all outputs that's what they're supposed to be okay so here's the incoming seat data and now we've got to spit these back out so we're not going to do anything fancy with the data that is coming in we just want to we just want to pass it on and get our boolean set to true, which will turn on the light. So we're just going to go ahead and hook these all up. And then we're going to say this is 5. This is going to be 6. So if you can see, they're all set here on the channel that's coming in. We're reading that channel. And then we're going to output, if it's true or false, to our light all right there we go easy peasy look at that we are done with that okay let's go ahead and click the update and now our microcontroller is all updated all right so let's go ahead and start hooking these lights up one i'm oh, sorry five six seven eight nine ten eleven now we're assuming that occupied is 11 but we will find out so let's get a little color going on here for fun Red, green, blue, and yellow, pink. I'm running out of cool colors. Do the brown on this one. And then I guess just they got white. In theory, when we sit on the seat, I think that 11 is going to go on. When we push number one on the seat, the five is going to go on. Now we're going to have six, seven, eight, and so on through the seat. So if we look at the seat, here's what I'm talking about. We have the occupied here. And we have... One, two, three, four, five, six. And I think that's, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's my theory. Wait, did I hook up the composite? Because that would just be embarrassing. Let's check. No, we didn't. All right, there's a composite. All right, let's spawn it for dramatic effect. Let's go ahead and change the weather. I'll make it nighttime, but let's change the weather. Oops, too foggy. And that's because then the lights will shine really cool on it. Okay, I'm going to sit down, and I'm going to assume that number 11 is going to go on. Ready? What? What? Okay. That did not work. All right, I'm going to hit number one. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven. What? 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 Okay, five, six, seven. How are these work? No, that doesn't make sense, right? <gasps> what they are doing is they are outputting... Let's look at the seat. They are outputting these in order again. So they're doing one, two, three, four, and these are numbers that are being output on the composite. And then on the one to six, they're doing the Boolean. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Probably the seat is going to be number seven. Don't know for sure, but... Let's check it out here. So let's go back into the old chipperoo. And we are going to change this to one, two, Boolean four, Boolean five. Yes, you know, number six and seven. So I think now 
this is the order that they're being output in. All right, let us check it. All right, so let's see what the seed is doing. Okay, occupied does not work. Okay, I'm gonna hit number one. There it is. Two, three, four, five, six. All right, so what, what is occupied on? I would assume it would be on number seven, but it is not on number seven. Hmm. Let's clean up our artwork here for you so we don't get you confused. All right. Okay, there's our six. And we don't know. This is a question mark. This is a big old question mark. What is... Um, I don't think I'm missing anything here. It is hooked up. I do have it hooked up to number seven. So what is this? I guess we could check like all the numbers and just make sure that it's not going out on another one. Which is kind of dumb. But let's do that. Okay, so let's do number eight. All right, and time lapse. All right, number 32. It does not work. Okay, so I went through all the channels, testing to see if occupied was going to be sent out through one of the other channels. So I went from seven all the way to 32, and the light never came on. However, as tested before, we can do our one to six just fine. So that looks good. And then of course we have our AS, WS, left, right, up, and down, all working from the seat composite. All right, so I guess it's time to do a recap. Ooh, a recap. All right, so because we went ahead and learned together how this is all set up, I'm gonna go ahead and do a recap in case I confused you. So first off, let's look at the seat again. And we have the seat composite data coming out. I've hooked it to an instrument panel. And each one of these, one, two, three, and four, are set, of course, right here. One, two, three, and four are the channels. And the first one is going to be the A and D keys on the axis. And then the second one, the second channel, is going to be WS, the third channel, is the left right keys and the fourth channel will be up and down. All right, so let's look at the seat itself. And we know that these four are numbers and that's where they're going to this instrument panel. So these are doing number outputs on the composite. One, two, three, and four are the channels. And then it resets itself here and does Booleans, which are true or false. And it does channel one, two, three, four, five, six. Now we pretty much confirmed that the seat occupied, where is that little guy? This guy right here doesn't seem to be going out on any of the channels. All right, so knowing that, we went ahead and took the signal out and we sent it to the instrument panel. And then we sent the instrument panel composite data passing it through there to this microcontroller. All right, so let's get into the microcontroller and see how it's set up. And you'll see we have one, two, three, four, five, six um, outputs coming out. These are Booleans, so they'll be set to true when that composite comes in through here. And if we look over here, we'll see the composite comes in and we set it to each channel. So we have channel one, channel two, channel three, channel four, channel five, and six. And this one is trash because we could not figure out where the occupied seat is being output, if at all. So on the right side, we have the outputs going to the seat. And so if we go ahead and jump out of here and come back into this mode, we can see number one is going to the first light and so on, two, three, four, five, six. Ta-da, we have it all hooked up. So now when we spawn, we'll go ahead and jump in the seat and Occupy does not do anything. So we'll have our first channel, A and D, channel two, W, S, channel three, left, right, channel four, up and down. Okay, those are numbers. And then we go back to channel one on our Booleans and we'll hit number one on our keyboard. Number two on our keyboard, number three, four, five, and six. And that is it. Ooh, taste the rainbow. And that is it. So hopefully this was helpful. Um, kind of learned with you to make sure <laughs> I understood what was going on with composite and where 
it was sending out the data. If you have any questions, leave them below. And if you figured out where the occupied seat is being sent through, or if at all, let me know. All right, well, that's it for today. I am a glowing rainbow. So if you haven't done so already, click that little bell so it goes ding dong when I do a new video. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And if you have any questions, comments, leave them down below. I'll see you next time. Bye. Wait, I like the rainbow better. Better. I'm going to just jump in the rainbow. I jump in the rainbow. Jump it. Ooh, how pretty. Wow. I'm like a firefly. Don't go into the light.